What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've traveled to a tiny spillway, which you can see back here behind me, with the goal to catch some tiny new pet fish for my baby boy. Um, if y'all have been following the channel for a little while, a couple of months ago we set up Cypress, his very first native fish tank, and he just absolutely loves that thing. Every morning he gets in his bouncer and he just sits there and watches the fish swim around. He loves them whenever we feed them. Um, but they're in a pretty big aquarium. It's a 75 gallon tank and there is plenty of space to add a few more fish. Right now we have, I think, four green sunfish, one long-eared sunfish, a tiny little bluegill, and then a tiny little catfish. I think there's room for about two or three more fish. And so the goal for me today is that I'm wanting to catch a few more long-eared sunfish to add to the tank because they are just beautiful sunfish species. Now the green sunfish are very beautiful too, but there's just something special about a long-eared sunfish in an aquarium. And Cypress seems to really like that one a lot. So to make today's video a little bit more interesting and exciting, to catch the fish today, I have brought my old trusty fly rod. I've got some little popping bugs, I've got some little woolly boogers, some little nymphs, and I think that they will work just fine for catching some of these micro fish that live here in this spillway. So guys, if y'all are excited to join along with me on this fishing adventure, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and let's go catch some fish. There we go, there we go, first fish. First fish, what is that? Oh, that's a tiny little bluegill. <laughs> there we go, it didn't take very long. We started here in this little pool down below the spillway. That's a nice fish. He's definitely an aquarium sized fish, but not really the species that we're after. I would definitely prefer to get a couple of long-eared sunfish, but that is a good start. It's good to know there are some fish hanging out here in this pool. There we go, fish on, fish on. What is that? He is freaking out. No way, look at this. <laughs> we got ourselves a crappie. Check that out, guys. Second fish of the trip, we got ourselves a micro black crappie. Now, while we have kept crappie in fish tanks before, and they do pretty well in the fish tank, these guys require a ton of food, and that's just not something that we were really wanting to deal with with this fish tank. We want it to be as easy as possible, so we're gonna let this guy go. A crappie. Is this thing still working? Did y'all just see what I did? I literally just hooked the camera on the tripod on the back cast of that fly rod and sent the camera in the water. The, uh, the little uh, windscreen on the mic got completely soaked. But I think we might have dodged a bullet. I don't see any water in the lens. Golly, that was really bad and very embarrassing. Hopefully this camera is okay because if it's not, that's going to be a very expensive mistake. But we're going to act like nothing happened. We're going to act like everything is still good with the camera and we're going to try to see if we can catch some long-eared sunfish. It's actually proven to be a little more difficult than I thought and hopefully I don't have to resort to plan B. Oh, fish on. He smoked it on top. I think we got a new species. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Man, that was sick. I got a new species, a micro largemouth bass. And while largemouth bass also make great pets, they too, they, they also require a lot of food like the crappie. And we already went down that road. We had a bass for three years and um, it's time for something different, but that was really cool to catch him on the fly. Man, where's that long eared sunfish at? Oh, fish on. Fish on, I don't know what this is. It feels small. What is it? 
What is it? Oh, it's another bluegill. Dang. I had a good feeling about that one. I thought I definitely just had a long-eared sunfish. It's actually our biggest fish that we've caught today, I think. That crappie might have been a little bit bigger, but that is a really nice, healthy-looking bluegill. I think we'll pass this time on this guy, but you know, if we don't get any long-eared sunfish, I definitely want to come home with something, so we might consider keeping one of those guys. They still are awesome, just not as beautiful. All right, guys, so today has been a rough one for sure. Things are not really going according to the game plan. You know, things started off pretty strong. You know, we were able to catch some little sunfish um, with the fly rod, but we weren't able to catch our target species, which I knew was out there. I mean, I, I, I saw them swimming around. I just could not get them to bite. And then, of course, I hooked the camera with the fly rod and threw it out in the water. And um, there's definitely some things going on with it. I have lost, like, my autofocus with my lens. Definitely seems like the lens is messed up, which is not a good thing. We're gonna see how this plays out. I probably shouldn't be videoing right now with this camera, to be honest with you guys. But I just wanted to touch base and let you know that I'm not giving up on this expedition. I am going to go to another creek that I also know has long-eared sunfish, and uh, we're gonna give it one last try and see if we can put a couple in the cooler to take home to Baby C. So I will catch you guys at that second creek. All right, we have made it here to the second spot. It's literally a little creek right off of the side of the road. This is a lot of busy traffic. It's the middle of the day. I feel really exposed out here, um, but that's all right. I've got a good feeling we'll be able to catch our fish. I've seen a bunch of them here in the past. This is actually the same creek where we caught Cypress's first pet fish, and I'm actually seeing a few long-eared sunfish sitting right down there. Now, this is not a place where a fly rod is ideal. There's not a lot of room to cast. That's kind of why I've decided to come up here on the side of the road, but hopefully I don't hook a car on the back swing. Um, I'm gonna walk right up here. There's a little tunnel pipe right here, and I'm gonna drop it down and see if I can get a fish in there. Eat it. Oh, got him. Got him. Is that a long here? No, I think it's another big green sunfish. Dang it. It's a big green sunfish. Not the long gear we are after. It's so crazy fishing up here next to the road. I have to watch my back swing because I will literally hit a car if I don't time it right. Look at that though. Really, really nice green sunfish. Looks like the ones they already have in the tank. It's got those really nice bars. We're gonna toss them back in there. Try it again. Got him. God, I think it's a long gear. I think it's a long gear. Please be a long gear. I think it is. It is. It is. It is. Stay on there. Stay on there. Woo! We did it. We freaking did it. Finally. We finally got our fish. And that is a beautiful one. Perfect size. No, 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 no. Be careful. Don't die. We finally, finally, finally got our long eared sunfish. That is a beautiful guy. We're going to put him here in this cooler. I've got some cool water in here. It's treated to get all the chemicals out of it. Let's just toss him in there. I think he's okay after hitting the deck. Yeah, he's fine. Yes. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. I think it's a green sunfish. Ooh. Is it? Yeah, it's another green sunfish. The green sunfish are very thick in this spot. It is so loud out here. <laughs> what a crazy place to fish. But it just goes to show you that you can literally fish in the middle of the city and catch fish. While they not be monsters, they are still fun and they still are very aggressive. Oh, got him. Got him. Woohoo! Look at that one. We did it. We got our second long eared sunfish. What a beautiful fish that is. Wow, look how tiny that fly is. I swapped to the smallest fly in my box, dropped it down, and this one came out from underneath the cinder block, believe it or not, and got it. What a, an amazing fish. We finally did it, guys. That is a gorgeous sunfish. He's gonna make an excellent addition to the fish tank. Oh, let's get him in there. The other one's trying to jump out. We've got our two fish that we wanted. Now let's take these guys back to the house. Let's get them in the fish tank. Hey buddy, how are you? You doing good? You got the oh. hickey ups? Oops. <laughs> Say, oh man, I got the hiccups. Got the hickey ups. 
Daddy's been out there trying so hard all day to catch some new pet fish like you requested. We had to go to two different spots. We almost broke the camera. We might have broke the camera. I'm still not 100% positive on oh, that. Oh no. Yeah, I already called Jay and told her about that. She wasn't that excited about that. But I think it's going to be okay because we still got you some pet fish and they are in our little cooler down there and they are ready to join your others in here in the fish tank. Here's a look at some of Cypress's fish he already has. There's this tiny little bluegill. All the green sunfish pretty much have claimed these little corridors and the rocks, but they are doing excellently. There is this other long-eared sunfish over there in the corner. He's looking kind of pale right now, but he colors up really, really well. Look at those guys. They are so cool. Cypress, you ready to see your new pet fish? Say, oh, heck yeah, dada. You got two really nice ones. <laughs> Hopefully, your big green sunfish will be nice to them. You ready to see them? Yeah. Okay. Get out of the net. There he goes. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, look at, he's pretty, Cypress. Look at how that. pretty that fish is. Wow. Is it look at it, Cypress. Why are we going to name him? Rainbow. <laughs> look at the other long eared sunfish checking him out. He's like, finally. <laughs> I got a friend. <laughs> he's just laying low. He's just trying to figure out the environment. Let's get the second one. The second one's a little bit smaller. This is more the size that I was after, but I was just trying to get two, and I was pumped when we got that second wow. one. Look at that. Oh, there he goes. He's down at the bottom. Beautiful looking long-eared sunfish, Cypress. Oh my goodness! Are you so excited? You got more fish to look at. Although I had to work way harder than I probably should have to catch a couple of long-eared sunfish, it's really exciting that we were able to get Cypress some new pet fish today. They are both really, really pretty. They're already starting to acclimate to the water, it looks like. And I'm sure that within the next couple of hours, they'll be right at home. And hopefully, nothing will happen to them. Because all the fish in there are already doing pretty well. So I know sometimes you can put new fish to an aquarium. And sometimes the other ones can be mean. But I think they're going to be nice to them. Fingers crossed. We'll keep an eye on it and we will keep you guys updated on the new pet fish. But this is where we're going to end today's episode, guys. We hope that y'all enjoyed it. If so, do us a huge favor by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're Colin J and Baby C, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.